Hi, I'm Johnny from Classic Retrofit and today we're going to talk about a new development we've got for air-cooled 911 cooling and heating systems. One of the most common questions we get asked is, does it do heating? And up till this point, the answer has been no, but we've got something here that's going to change all that. So let's go and have a closer look. So in a moment, we'll get into the detail of how this system works. But one of the most exciting things, of course, is if you've ever built a 911 and you want to put heat on it, you're pretty much limited to one particular style of exhaust, which is this one here. So this exhaust has a heat exchanger on it and the engine fan blows in here, warms up the air, blows out of here and then there's a sort of semi-ridiculous kind of flap on here, which is controlled by levers between the seats notoriously rusty, cables jammed, always a problem. But we don't need this anymore because we're doing all our heat at the front. So you've got a free choice of exhaust. And that means that you're probably going to save between 15, 20 kilos, probably about 50 pounds worth of weight by deleting this style of exhaust and turning to race headers, which I've got on this car. Uh, you've got simplification of the ductwork in the engine bay. You don't need to run the ducts that come down from the engine fan. You can delete both of the levers between the seats and that whole centre console. Simply have a handbrake in there. So the list goes on and on and on, really. You're, you're basically shaving a whole load of weight off the back of the car, which is obviously where it needs to come, come out. So that's the exciting bit. To recap on the, you know, what, what Porsche ended up with in the late 80s, we had a heating system with the main engine fan, an auxiliary engine fan, two fans uh, for idle uh, boost in the footwells, two flaps at the back of the car, two levers in the middle of the seats, maybe an automatic system that lifted those levers. Remember, that's just heating. Fresh air, we had a screen blending flat with a slide lever, a footwell blending flat with a slide lever, another slide lever to close those flaps off, a separate fan speed control, that's just for fresh air, that's not AC. And then the AC system added yet another fan and an AC temperature control. Ridiculous. Most people know us for our AC systems, which are based on a 12 volt electric pump. So what we have here is a, a modified version of that pump so this is a 12 volt AC compressor. If you've got one of our systems, you'll probably recognize this part here. But on the side, we have a four way reversing valve. And what that allows us to do is change the direction of flow of the refrigerant, which means that the unit over here that was getting cool can now get hot. And the uh, heat exchangers in the, the condensers outside the car get reversed so instead of them rejecting heat they now reject cold which makes that get hot so you've got a system where one blower box can provide both heating and cooling from an electric pump there's no heat exchangers in the car um, in terms of from the exhaust all the heating system and the cooling systems in the front of the car at the moment this is there's a lot of prototyping going on here so there's quite a lot of spaghetti in terms of these pipes but we've, we've got to engineer a nice um, elegant solution for mounting all this um, we've also got up here these these green and gray parts they are test prints of revised uh, blending system if you've got one of these cars you're, you're probably familiar with some slider controls on on the dashboard um, and they they usually come out to uh, those sliders control cables which move flaps inside these parts here so you've got one air path for the fresh air. And then on the other side, you've got another air path, wherever it is, for the um, hot air. So those usually live down in this section of the car here where that green part is. Um, but because of the, the, the reasons I described earlier, you had hot air coming in here and cold air coming in here. So you had to have this part to combine the two to get um, temperature control. Now, because we're doing hot and cold from one single unit, we no longer need this air path here. So there is no air duct coming in here. It's simply you've got hot or cold air coming out of here. 
So this bit has been really designed. So there's a electric servo motor in there with a flap and one in there with a flap. Uh, there's no cables. Uh, this is all electrically operated. And then inside the car, we will be replacing the slider control panel with a version that's got some electronics um, that opens and closes those valves as you see fit. And that allows us to basically greatly simplify the, the whole way the system's operated. I mean, we'll end up with just four controls uh, for heating, uh, AC, and steering the air to the screen, the feet, or, or the centre vents. So, and that's it. And, it. and it'll be working how it should have worked in the first place, <laughs> and not this ridiculous uh, layers of complexity. Okay, so at the moment we've we've got this system in and we have tested, we're in the process of testing the, the heating and the cooling. We've been through a winter with the heating and that's all that's all good. And it's just starting to warm up in the UK. We had a sort of 25 degree uh, centigrade day um, on Saturday, but you know, we want to we want to test it in a little bit of a warmer situation so timeline i mean say so we get through the summer with our our testing and then i think we could be ready to launch this towards the end of the year so uh, um christmas 2024 christmas presents maybe <laughs> we're hoping to do a sort of homage to the original uh slider system but it will all be electronic um, so it'd be no more sort of stuck cables or, 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 or difficulty in operating the, um, the system. Right, well, the next thing we have to do on this car is uh, to do all those good things we spoke about earlier. So we're going to delete these uh, heating ducts. These can all be cleaned up now. Um, we've already fitted the sports exhaust to this system. We can then uh, start to tune it with, with our CDI plus ignition system you know, get the timing spot on and, and get more power out of the engine. Um, oh, in addition to uh, deleting the ducts, we could also seal up the the sills because not all 911s have the, the path of hot air going up the sill to the front and we don't want any mice or nasty things getting in there. So we can uh, cap those off. Um, and just clean the hole underneath of the car up. So if you want to see more about what we're doing with this car, we've got the internal slider controls to fit. Um, we've got the real parts going in the front, not the test prints for the, all the ducts and things. Um, so yeah, subscribe and uh, tune in for the next episode.